ran motorcycles as long as I can ever remember really. It was my dad, he had motorcycles before me. It's just something I naturally took up. I just love that, that feeling of freedom when you're on a motorbike. The first bike I owned was a Dot Cotton Minarelli. It was the worst bike I've ever owned, but my favourite bike I suppose I've ever owned because it just it, it brought me more and more into biking. I never did get it running right, right from the word go. It was a nightmare, but I did love it. I could have any bike in the world, it would be Valentino Rossi's last year's bike because he's such a legend and I would just like to sit and look at that bike and think, wow, that is just some piece of kit. Teasdale Motorcycles is a one-stop motorcycle shop and probably one of the largest in the north of England. We do everything from the workshop side, we do fast fit tyres, we do MOTs, we do clothing, we do accessories. We also have an online business as well which run. My favourite bike as an owner, as a rider, is the Aprilia. The, the market is so varied. You may be starting out with 20 some things and then you get the customers that come down and they're really just interested in something for the weekend. And they get your serious bike buyers who buy something and they'll maybe have six, seven, eight, maybe even ten bikes in the garage. We were at a, a situation where we were in rented premises and although it worked quite well, we were never ever going to be a bigger dealer than I felt we needed to be. We, we were quite exhausted really speaking to the banks. It was always with an ending with a but and we could just never get where we wanted to be. And then I got a email sent through from a gentleman called Mark Flower who's a financial advisor and um, offering business finance. And I filled it in, sent it back, and didn't really expect an answer. And he was back on the phone within 10 minutes, and within six days I had an offer in front of me. Well, I must admit, when I first applied for a funding circle loan, I thought it would be people like Duncan Bannantyne and people like that putting a lump of money into my business. And I was a little bit concerned, but when we actually got the paperwork through, and you see generally it's lots of people putting small amounts in, I was, I was yeah, quite touched by that. It was unbelievably simple. First loan that we got, was to buy a website. Then we moved into this premises here, and then we uh, took a third loan on to actually finish the extension. We wouldn't have been able to, to attract the manufacturer KTM, for, for instance, there, which has boosted our business. We've probably tripled our turnover now from, from when we were back in the early days of 2012. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is, is just so, it's so easy to, to apply for, to the degree now where I actually invest in other businesses. Now. We're just in the process of of applying for planning permission again to increase the size of the building and go to two storeys. They probably, I would think by the end of next year, we'll be up to 18 staff. Um, so it's, it's looking very good. I'd just really like to thank, thank the Funding Circle. We would not have been here today. I don't think we'd have been in business today without them.